In this video, I will walk you through how to build a smart sequence campaign on WeConnect. To create a new campaign, click Add New from the Campaign Manager. Here, we need to name our campaign and choose Smart Sequence as the campaign type. Next, we will select a lead source for our campaign. There are four options. Search, which allows you to import leads directly from LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, or Recruiter using a URL. Saved List lets you target a previously imported list of contacts. Finally, you can target a smaller group of contacts by pasting individual profile URLs or a large group with a CSV file import. I will select Search to import contacts directly from LinkedIn. Within Search, there are four additional import options, including LinkedIn Search URL, which allows you to import contacts from a LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, or Recruiter Search URL. You can also import LinkedIn group members using a LinkedIn group URL, as long as you are a member of that group. The third option is LinkedIn Events, allowing you to import attendees from past or future events. Lastly, you can import engaged users on a LinkedIn post using the LinkedIn Post option. I'll choose LinkedIn Search, pasting a search URL into the text box and naming my list. Before continuing, I'll select the connection type as second and third degree to target contacts outside of my existing network. Depending on the connection type you choose, you will have different campaign actions available. Now I have the option to select a mailbox to add email functionality to my campaign. Since my mailbox is already connected, I will choose it. If a mailbox has not been added to WeConnect yet, you can add one by clicking on Add a new mailbox and following the subsequent steps. Next, I'll build my campaign sequence. Before sending a connection request, you can choose to follow, invite to connect, like a post, visit their profile, unfollow, or send an email. I'll select Visit a Profile as my first campaign step. I'll click Save and the plus icon to add a second step. In my next step, I'll invite contacts to connect. In my connection request, I'll use the first name variable to personalize my message. You can also use a previously saved message template or prompt AI to generate a message for you. After sending a connect request, campaigns break into two conditions, accepted and not accepted. When an invitation is accepted, new actions become available, like endorsing a skill, sending a follow-up message, or removing the connection. I will send a follow-up message one hour after my invite is accepted, using an existing message template. I can also add an attachment or emoji to my message. Now let's consider the scenario in which my connection request is not accepted. I will select the Like a Post action from the drop-down menu to attract my contact's attention in this step, and hit Save. Let's continue to build a smart sequence. In the next step, I want to send an email after three days. Send email has two scenarios, if email found and if email not found. I will use a template I had previously saved and click Next. You can choose a different action if the email is not found. I will choose to send a message on LinkedIn and insert a saved template. I'll hit Next and add a Like a Post action after three days if my invite has not been accepted. Click Save. There are a couple of things to notice here. On the email step, you have the option to add A-B variants to test different subject lines and email content. If a website URL is detected in your email content, you will see an Add-on Click button. This is an additional feature that allows you to send a separate email for link click events. I will not use these options for this campaign though. Next, I will choose to send an email after four days to follow up on my previous email. I will use a template for the step and insert it. Now, the switch enabled by default will allow you to send it as a reply to my previous email. If turned off, it will send as a new thread. I will keep it on and send my email as a reply to my previous message. You can enable or disable the signature for the follow-up email or preview your email by clicking on this icon. Once satisfied, hit Next. I will select Do Nothing if no email is found and hit Next again. If the invite is not accepted, I will select the Visit Profile action and hit Save. You may continue to add further steps based on your needs. You can add as many steps as you want, and the sequence will stop as soon as you get a reply from the contact. Once I'm finished building my campaign, 
I'll click Continue to move to the Campaign Settings page. Here, you can adjust action limits, advanced filtering, and set up your campaign schedule. I'll set my action limit to 15, meaning WeConnect will automate 15 actions per day for this campaign. I'll also toggle on Randomize Actions to perform a slightly different number of actions every day to mimic natural behavior. Next, I can add advanced filters to further my targeting. For this campaign, I'll exclude contacts found in other campaigns and anyone without a profile photo. I'll also turn on Send Only if the job title matches to target only the specific job titles I enter. Finally, I'll set up my campaign schedule. The default schedule runs from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. To add a new schedule, click on the Schedule form and select Add New. Here, I can name my schedule, select a time zone, and choose the days and times I want my campaign to run. To review my campaign, I'll click Continue again. On this page, I can expand the campaign details, sequence, and settings to verify I've set my campaign up correctly. Finally, I'll click Launch to send my campaign immediately or schedule it for a future date. Remember, you can always pause or edit campaigns as needed from the Campaign Manager. And there you have it! I hope this video helped you understand how to set up your first Smart Sequence campaign. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team.